Oh, uh, I meant to mention. So if you go to uh, westhillcs.com and then you go down to the data structures one, this sun is meant to symbolize the summer assignment. So if you click on that, it will take you here to the summer assignments. And you can see that the data structure summer assignment is to sign up for your textbook, which, by the way, I have not created yet. It'll be up in another week or so. And then to take this IntelliJ course, you're asking whether this link is available. It's right here. So if you go there, it'll take this course. OK, so that is where the summer assignment can be found. I want to talk to you a little bit about your small summer assignment for data structures in case you want to take data structures next year or if you want to take any Java class in college you're going to find that outside of the high school environment no one uses BlueJay. BlueJay is kind of a teaching tool it's good because it's simple no one writes large applications in BlueJay because there's no type ahead and so it takes a lot longer to program on BlueJay than it does on most other professional IDEs Ten years ago, when I started teaching this course, uh, the most popular IDE was an IDE called Eclipse. You can barely even see that anymore because the IntelliJ IDE is pretty much taken over. Now, the summer assignment is for you to watch this tutorial on IntelliJ and switch over from BlueJ to IntelliJ. You notice that there are lots of different tutorials on IntelliJ, but I'm going to tell you that this is the best one that I have found. It's two and a half hours long, and the worst way to watch it would be straight through because you will not be able to absorb that much material in one sitting. What you want to do is break this up into 20 to 30 minute uh, chunks and to watch it over the course of several weeks, ideally in August before school starts. However, if you're traveling with your family in August and you can't watch it, then you can watch it earlier. Alternatively, if you plan to actually do some programming over the summer, then obviously you want to get this under your belt as soon as possible. Once you learn IntelliJ, you'll be shocked at how quickly you can program because not only does it have type ahead, but it imports all your libraries automatically. And it can also generate a bunch of code like getters and setters and tr uh, constructors and all those things for you automatically. So it just makes it much, much faster to code. Why don't I start with this? Because it's pretty complicated also. I don't want it to generate all your code when you're a beginning programmer. I need you to have practice. So that's why we typically start with BlueJ instead of IntelliJ. There will be no use of BlueJ in data structures. Okay, BlueJ ends right now. So please take this course from this guy named Amigos Code and watch it. It's two and a half hours. And like I said, best it's broken up into five to ten different sessions. Please be sure, listen to me, please be sure to follow along and do it while he's doing it. I know that while he's doing it, you can nod your head up and down and say, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Right. Yes. You will not remember it unless you press the keystrokes as he's pressing them. You want to have either two monitors or split your monitor in half and show the video on one while you have IntelliJ running on the other. And you want to follow along with him. That's the key to learning IntelliJ. When we start data structures next year, I'm going to assume that you've learned IntelliJ and that you're ready to go.